Okay, we're going to take a look at doing some basic alignments. One way that you can start out with is using the old AutoCAD type lines and we'll draw a alignment in here perpendicular or a line or it could be a polyline and you put some objects in. We'll do a fillet which is a standard AutoCAD command of put in a radius of 100 <clears throat> and there's our alignment that's kind of the older method that you you might use and it's still a good method to use especially for water lines in the uh, sewers and things of that nature now once we get that done we can go up to alignment to create from object and it'll ask the direction that looks pretty good so we'll hit enter and we'll name this uh, you know, RD-1 <clears throat> check our styles that looks good it's proposed don't want to add any curves because I already have them added and I don't I'm gonna erase the entities so just just that quick you know we, you create an alignment you can come in here and you can add the labels and change your uh, increments and uh, things of that nature. You want to change the uh, colors. It's usually always in your styles. You can come here, you can do it by layer, or you can come in here and hit it, and it'll be assigned a style. We'll say we'll make it red, and we want to click up here and go to tick, and we also want to make it red. And you can do little things like this. To, to change anything that you need in your alignment so that's one way you can do it just using standard AutoCAD entities and you'll notice that if you just move it around that it will adjust your stations and automatically which is a good thing versus the old way okay that's one way the other way um, I like to use, especially when I'm in a hurry, is I just go up to alignments and create alignment tools. And, uh, you know, we'll name this uh, road dash one. And check your parameters here. Everything looks good. Propose. We'll hit OK. And then you'll notice your toolbox comes up here. And uh, many different ways you can get into advanced uh, settings here. Also, to edit or create your alignment but the simplest way if you're in a hurry and you can again this you can edit you can go over here to what I call dynamic uh, type tools over here and you create uh, check your curve settings and we're going to just do plain curves that's fine and we're going to draw a tangent tangent with curves so we can just start anywhere and just drag and plop our PIs and go in there and just put it in that way and that's as quick you know you can do that really quick right there and that's two different ways to create alignments both by using AutoCAD entities and using uh, your dot what I call dynamics over here in your left hand button and again you'll notice if you look up here at your uh, ribbon outlay and you, you click on this it brings up assuming you want to do some work on here so you can hit different things that you want to do you can you know edit or reset and flip there's just a lot of things you can do with your alignments but when you click on it it'll bring it'll populate that up there and you can even edit the geometry if you do that it brings this back up and let's say like you wanted to delete a PI so you delete a PI you notice that's gone there so you know we don't want to do that so we'll undo but that's how you would do it you might want to create API in there stick another one here and then you can move that and then you can put a curve in there if you need to so, so that's the way you edit it once you get done you just click on it it populates up here and then it, you know you can go to edit your uh, geometry and different features of it and it'll bring up the boxes and you can do things you can actually come on here at the right you can see that you have curves in here you can 
change those curves as long as your uh, geometry will allow you to like 150 and it will readjust so there's a lot of things you can do so this is a just a basic how to do some alignments um, in using civil 3d good deal